and when I hear some of these price targets, 5400 it really makes me believe that don't move too, too far away from the mega caps because you're not going to 5400 without the mega caps contributing in some capacity. You Maybe could. they're not going to hit 60 home runs in a year, but for the yeah. S&P to go to 5400 they're going to hit 30. This just implies we're going to have a double-digit percentage yes. increase, Weiss. Next year, but maybe it's 15, maybe it's 20 at the at the top end for the to, to, to reach the most adventurous targets that have been placed on the market, and that remains to be seen. A lot has to go right. Still, yeah. you can't declare victory yet. He's not putting on the jumpsuit, calling the aircraft carrier, getting up there and says mission accomplished yet. You know, it, um, I'm just looking at Domodorian, Professor Domodorian from NYU Stern School. I'm looking at Demodorin. Demodorin, right? I got you back. Sorry. Don't worry. Um, um, the dean evaluation. The dean ah, evaluation. So I've got his. Our apologies, I've got, Professor. I've got his numbers here from. I'm about to make him a star. Uh, I'm about to bless him. So from 1950, and when you look at 91 to 99, I don't think it's dissimilar from now because you've got such technology innovation, and you had actually higher rates. Your three-month T-bill was just eyeballing it was around you know three to five percent. Yet you have six periods during then where the market was up. 20 to plus 30 percent during that period of time. Successive years, there was some interruption. 94, obviously, was a rough year for everybody for lots of reasons, so the market was flat. But other than that, my point is there's precedent. So past could be prologue. I'm not the most bullish guy in the show, as we all know, but I constantly wonder where I can be wrong, and where I can be wrong is that the market has another great year. Well, maybe it's assuming that the you know the AI run can't continue when in fact it might be just getting started. Right. Well, that's it, right. that's the argument. Right. So so look, I said it yesterday. I got I got some pushback in emails that no AI is AI is not new. AI has been around for years and years. Amazon, they've used AI forever. When you buy so when when they see something that's getting a lot of popularity in their site. That's hitting their numbers. Yeah, but that's and a then different kind of, of AI. It that's is, it is. This, this now is, we're ripping the curtain right. back. Right, this that's is, not this is generative AI. This is, right, this, this is completely different. Well, My in terms of productivity and so many other things right. that, that this has the potential to unlock. Right, and I do believe this is the next industrial revolution, like 5G was. It didn't get as much you know, hoopla as this is. So I do believe it's there. But it's also expensive uh, to produce AI, so there are a few players. So, where do, so I'm not interested in picking Next AI technology. I'm not interested in buying, you know, and buying companies that are 100 billion in the private markets where few dollars are chasing. Well, maybe you're interested in buying an Amazon, which all of a sudden I is am. in favor from the the notes that I've read today. There's like three or four different notes saying this is the way. Now I've to been play looking it. to add to Amazon. I'll tell you why. Not for AI, but you know, Meta gets all the headlines for efficiency. When you take a look at what Jassy has done. That's driven efficiency further than Meta. Not only has he cut heads, right? He's cut back on logistics spending. If you take a look at Prime Video, right? He's cut back on production. You know, their video offering is, is really punk relative to all the others. And now they're gonna charge ads on more of it. They've already been charging ads on others. So, and then you've got cloud. So you wanna play in AI, play in the cloud where the compute power you're going to need is much, much greater and the tools you're gonna to need. So to me, Amazon is the perfect. I'd like to buy it cheaper, may not be able to. I do own it, I just don't own enough of it. And Meta hits See. a new 52-week high today and there's optimism around that top digital idea from Wedbush for 2024 internet. Yeah, and, and I'm more comfortable with Meta because I think there's higher barrier to entry and less competition coming their way, but just backing up on Amazon, here's something for all of the mega caps that's making me really nervous. I'm reading over the weekend, right? And I'm reading an article about how Timu and Shine each did $20 billion of revenues this year, and that's coming directly out of Amazon. And, they, and the article was saying basically Amazon created its own demise by creating its own its own model for competition. Then, you're, then I was reading something this morning saying BYD actually produced more electric car vehicles than Tesla. And, I, and we've heard all year all these big players yeah, the are coming. Market, the marketplace side of Amazon that is not the growth engine no, but behind the, the point, company anymore. But the point That's is. That's why people are picking it okay. as one of their top plays relative to AI and what uh, AWS 
but here's is, my is point going to is that these mag 7 have held the spotlight for so long and i think it's a little harder to compete with the community that a meta has per, that has created right because you can't just it's it, you can't just take your aws business and go somewhere else um, sorry you can't just take your meta business and go somewhere else the way you can with aws or just buy a different electric car or just use a different ai chip meta's up 200% this year stickier. meta's like, stickier so that one i'm comfortable standing behind you know we've trimmed it because it's gotten a little more expensive it's harder to think that with that multiple and still like 20 percentage earnings and revenue growth ahead it's, it's just harder to justify significant growth but i'll tell you for the mega caps competition is coming their way and i think we're going to see an increased drumbeat on that on that theme in 2024 the e-commerce e story is not done it's only 25 percent of all commerce all retail globally it's far from done like cloud cloud is only 25 percent penetrated oh i'm not suggesting so major it's done i'm just saying no, no. that if, if you're buying amazon i don't necessarily think Think you're you're buying it because of the marketplace and e-commerce business. Not, you're, you're buying it not. for the growth engine that exists that's elsewhere. The fund, but that's the funding engine, right? For what exists. In elsewhere. other words, you're not paying an yeah. elevated multiple on Amazon for the marketplace. Definitely not. The point is, when you doubt. make a lot of money, everyone's coming for you. Yeah, but I mean, when you're the and, when you're the seven eight hundred pound gorillas in the room. Who's really coming and at you? And some of those have Who? higher barriers to entry. I think Meta has higher barriers to entry. Like, I, I'm going to get beat up on this. I know by who. But one day, there are going to be others who make chips that compete with NVIDIA's. And by the way, even NVIDIA's highest yeah, end chip. Yeah, there is. That's called Broadcom yeah. and AMD, right. and they and already not, are. And not everybody's going to need it. And people are going to come for AWS, the AWS cloud business. And those are compete. Like, those can be corroded away. Those margins can be corroded away. Do you know the you cost can, of but you the cloud business? Do you know the cost that you have to go to put a yeah, cloud the, business? Yeah, but the there's like, you know, Microsoft can compete there. Others can compete. They're going to they're cannibalize each other's My point is it's big margins. enough. The 25% penetration is big enough. On that theory, when you make enough money, others are coming for you. you got to sell it. So I should sell Microsoft. I should sell Meta. I should no, sell Alphabet. No. I should sell Amazon. No, no, no. But you probably shouldn't expect them to lead performance for the next decade. I think people have forgotten. If you look at, so cool, actually, look at a chart of Microsoft starting in 2001. And what you see was there is It sounds huge... like somebody who only owns one of the mega caps. Okay, but as I've said all year, you do not need to own the mega caps to have very, very good performance. And there's plenty of things in our discipline you growth did strategy. This year. You no, sure you didn't. Did. Well, you, Actually, you, you did. 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 And people who you didn't did. got saved from November 1st to now. Their okay. books look a lot different today than they did on October 15th. Yeah, give me four I can tell you that. Give me but seven of the stocks that were up 150%. Okay, Uber, United Rentals, like there's plenty out there that were up a huge amount that you aren't, like XPO. You had to work a lot harder. Correct. If you did not you own the Magnificent Seven. Think. You had to actually do your homework and think as an investor. Speaking